the idea that that space isn't sacred how deeply ingrained it is this sort of the home is this image of stability and, and people place so much of themselves on it as an object and as an idea that just by marking it or making this work you can you can start to challenge that and poke at that the fact that an aesthetic mark can feel like an actual attack on the things that, that those spaces represent there's real core it's this idea of taking that psychological interior of a home and placing it on the outside and making a very very familiar object unfamiliar to people Looking back at, I guess, this, yeah, the start of my career, I started doing these big projects, it really did come from that DIY attitude that was about guerrilla filmmaking and having a background in graffiti and street art where you just make stuff and do stuff and you figure it out. And I think those early works sort of set the, set the tone for what I'm doing now. Each project kind of informs the next one and it's sort of been a continuum for, you know, I wouldn't have expected that I'd still be making work on this theme, but it seems to keep giving back or asking more questions so I can go out and, you know, pick at these ideas through different projects. I think the interesting thing for me is, is the communities in there and other people's relationships to home or this sort of broad emotional pull that icon has for people. I mean, people load the home up with so much of themselves and identity. And I think that's something that is, is so interesting to tug on and play with as an artist. You know, people walk up and tell me what the work is and what it means and what it's about or tell me about the neighbourhoods that they're. So I think that stuff is always really um, surprising and kind of incredible as well. You know, sometimes the images are really, uh, you know, grating and harsh and quite aggressive images. And so I think we need those communities to want us there. That's really satisfying as well to sort of, for those moments, be a part of those communities as well and be invited in there. A lot of the communities I'm invited in to make the work and so it's something like Christchurch, it was a really positive reaction, but we also work really hard to be um, responsive to those communities and make sure that the work's sensitive to them. There's something about seeing a house without its wall on that suddenly outside becomes inside and there's something really confronting about that, that sort of the safety is immediately subverted. Sort of what was key in that work is, and I'd, I'd worked with light outside of the camera before, but I wanted to work with light, you know, in shot, in frame. And that was a collaboration with an incredible cinematographer, Alan Bollinger. And, you know, working with him, I think there's a way of creating this sort of negative space, um, cuts in the houses, and, and then filling that negative space with light as a, as a kind of release and catharsis. I think working in those areas, it was really about sensing what that community was ready for. There are so many moving parts of the projects. I think it's, it's, it's taking the photos at dawn and dusk. And then there's this sort of editing process in the studio where it's capturing what was there and then trying to tell larger stories with that work. Incorporating more of you know, sculptural work and, and, and paintings and drawings and reconstructed pieces of houses. And, and that, that I found really fascinating is, is collecting raw material from real life and being interpretive with it and, and, and not having to necessarily work as a journalist but work as an artist in those spaces and try and create larger poetic truths with these real life elements as well, which I think is, is something that's hugely satisfying. For me, it started as a really personal investigation, trying to work out where I belong as, as, as someone in their 20s, trying to figure out where they belong in the world. To now, really, I, I think I'm the least interesting thing about the work. I think the interesting thing for me is, is the communities in there and other people's relationships to home. 